What do you do here? Uh, everything. <laughs> what do you collect? <laughs> Nothing, really. <laughs> Nothing and everything? Nothing. Well, I don't collect this. <laughs> I didn't collect this. I'm cleaning it up. What do you, what Dude, do you, let's, you said he, you were saying that this was your dad's, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you know, you, and this hasn't been turned on since 1992, maybe three times? Maybe 94. Wow. <laughs> why, don't we, why don't we turn it on and see how, <laughs> sure. see, see it in action? It, it actually, yeah. Because I, oops. There we go. Thanks, Marcus. I didn't know how to shoot. <laughs> what? There we go. Wow. Look at that. And I would. Do I'm, you have the disc for the. I'm not sure. They should, might be there. Oh, here's a copy of Workbench. Which is this one? I don't know how clean the heads are. You know, you have corrosion. And I. What happened to the, uh, the keyboard? Beautiful, nice, and I know there's batteries in them that can leak. So, yeah, some of so, them do have that. So it it's might you know I didn't want to run it through its paces without right. having it checked out internally first. I'm a I'm a rock star. I just go for it. <laughs> just kidding. <clears throat> Said nobody. Said nobody. <laughs> well, it's not. That's okay. Um, we're halfway there. All right, so uh, nice, man. I'm um, very happy to be taking this. Sure, and there's actually that wasn't yeah. pictured with the ad, but there's a whole box of stuff. Oh, nice. The That's excellent. How much you want for this thing? Um, that does not work. Um, Twenty-five. No, I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I had three down back. You meant twenty-five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had three of them down back that I sold to a fellow, and they had been in the basement. Right, so they get a little moist and. Well, they they had and they were, but they were in better condition than that one. But we turned them on, and it was like, yeah, remember the old Star Trek? Yes. When the when, like it was like when 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 the Klingons or the Romulans shot the Enterprise, there was pow pow sparks flying. You want my cheaters? What is this? This is a monster vinyl. Those are, those are what you call Look them. at this thing. They are uh, special records for like uh, radio broadcasts. Wow, I've never seen a vinyl that big yeah, before. I haven't priced everything in here. So yeah, they're, they're special for radio broadcasts. They're like... Uh, That's so interesting. Institu no, you wouldn't call them institutional. They're, they're specially made where they have like a whole radio pro... They were what they had before they had real-to-real uh, -real tapes for the radio shows. Wow, this is a cool collection. I'm in the middle of pricing the four track reels for reels right now. Interested in getting rid of this? It's too. Yeah. Um, ten bucks. I take it. Oh, you have it? Okay, oh, great. Let me see what else. I love software. Well, how about these vinyls? What kind of vinyls are these? Um, they're just. Oops. Do you have any ABBA? <laughs> Actually, we might. <laughs> really? <laughs> we gotta get it for him. <laughs> just for him. I was just kidding, by the way. We might. We might. We've got. <laughs> we've got Elvis. We've got a lot of. Uh, you Western have Albert America. Hammond. Wow, cool. How about Albert Hammond? Did it, it never rains in Southern California? <laughs> Don't know that one. Oh come on! It's a great song. <laughs> I probably know it, but I don't know the time from the time. It never rains in California. It's a lot of country stuff. But girl, don't they warn you? I it know that pours. one, yeah. Man, it pours. That's a great song. He was a one-hit wonder, but that was a great one hit. Oh, here's the, here's the, uh, what would you call it? You got a lot of audio stuff. What's the reason for all the audio? I mean, you got a freaking jukebox in here. Yeah, I know. It, Look at this thing. I see we, it. We had a whole garage that was full of stuff. Up to the ceiling. Wow, that was like World War Two stuff. Oh, yeah, so is that like the World War Two boat, something up there? No, it's just a model. This was all. This... Oh. What was those discs that you had? Was it the floppies? Was oh. it just copies? These were, I believe, they're for old IBM. Yeah, I just picked up a PS2. Mm. Workbench demo, sound music, speech. Mm. It's not Amiga? 
I don't think so. I think they are. Oh, yes, they are amigos. Yeah, because they're... Okay, then they go in with the pile. Beautiful. All right, I think that's it for me. So that's another... I got a... Yeah, I'll change. Let's see, 25, 10, 15, I've, I've got 15. So 15 will make it, yeah, 35. That's perfect. That, that makes the math work. Okay, cool. here we go. Pleasure doing business. I'm, I'm glad to <coughs> find homes for this stuff. Oh, no, I'm good. This is going to be great. Yeah. I'm so I mean, excited. The stuff should not be piled up and left to rot. Somebody should be using it. No, no, this one will definitely get used. Oh, here. Here's we got boxes. Oh, nice. Lots of boxes. All right, Mike, you might, I'm gonna need your help here. Sir, can I stop filming now? You can stop filming, sir. All right, you wanna sign off on your, on your show? We can't wait to go and uh, you know film us actually using this thing. I think uh, I'm ready to go. You wanna say thank you to your... Thank you. Right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. That's it, it's a wrap. Later. <laughs> Well, this is my first time <clears throat> on an Amiga, uh, Amiga 1000. I have a Workbench 1.2 and used Kickstart 1.2. I tried using uh, 1.3, uh, but that was giving me a disk read uh, error. I tried a different version of it that also gave me a disk read error. Uh, I'm not sure if it has something to do with the Amiga um, uh, 1000 chipset that's inside there or what's the reason. Um, hopefully I can uh, have some fun here. Um, you guys can give me some tips and advice here. I've never really used one of these before. But at least I got the workbench running. Um, I don't even know how to load a program. What do I do? I just put in the disk and, and click on it, I guess. Let's see, I'll give that a try. All right, guys, any tips would be uh, most uh, thankful for. So I had a mega Amiga find, and I just kind of want to go through the games that I actually got um, during this pickup. So here we go. I'm gonna grab the crate right here, kind of run them through, take a look real fast. All right, paint shot, paint two, deluxe paint two. Classic Amiga painting. This is pre-Photoshop, right? This is before Photoshop. Got the manual, All everything's here, discs here, everything's here. Actually a very useful program today to use. So yeah, that's a good one. I know there's like, I think, Deluxe Paint 4 as well. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? This one got a little attention when I posted. Not really sure why. I guess it's uh, uncommon for the Amiga. Auto Duel for the Amiga with, I believe, the toolkits in here. Okay, got the reference card map of some sort, a floppy, and a toolkit with origin systems. I don't see any manual, but toolkit's the one that's the hardest to get. Manual, I'm sure I can find somewhere. It looks like the toolkit's complete too, so that's good news. I really don't like when they use these cassette inserts for floppies. But whatever. Auto duel. Journey, the quest begins by Infocom. Looks like a text based with some graphics. I guess this is when they knew they needed graphics to keep up with the rest of the designers and computer makers of the world. I never seen this before. Prognosis, but uh sci psygnosis. Psygnosis. This is in like a floppy with a little comic, it looks like. Oh, the artwork's amazing. Look at that artwork. That is fabulous artwork. That's the one thing this company always had for itself was amazing artists. Definitely dig having this. A little strange that it's not a box, but 
It's okay. TV sports football. All right, early sports game. I remember seeing this artwork back when I was a kid. Never picked it up, but Populous. I guess it's kind of like a Sim City kind of thing where you are God. I wonder why I was always attracted to this game. Hmm. What do you guys think? What's the reason? It's such a badass cover. Love it. Probably the game stinks, but we'll give it a try. Cinemaware. Uh, this is all for the Amigas. Oh, this one's IBM. Look at that. Sentinel Worlds 1. I got one for the IBM. So that's cool. Put that one to the side. Arkanoid. Oh, we all loved playing this game. That's cool to have it in the box. How neat is that for the Amiga? Floppy. It looks like it's got some comic manual. Cool. Let's check out the artwork here. There you go. You can, you can immediately tell why Psygnosis was killing it because they just had superior artists and artwork. Really makes a difference. What do we got here? Battle Tech. The Crescent Hawks Inception for the Amiga. This is an Infocom release. Really cool, looks complete. You know, that was always a fun game. A Bard's Tale. Now I played this on the Commodore 64, maybe on the IBM, but definitely on the Commodore 64. Have it on the Amiga, so yeah, pretty uncommon. But if you got one, it's great to have two. Also for the Amiga. All right. That's some killer artwork. Night Force, never heard of it. Looks pretty neat. Says Amiga. All right, so another uncommon Amiga game. The Universal Military Simulator, the Ultimate War Game Simulator. How am I have not heard this before? This sounds really cool. Gonna have to give that a try. Empire, War Game of the Century. Interstell, all right. Uh, I've seen this artwork before, familiar with it. Never played the game. Blockbuster, Mindscape game. Got a neat box that opens up to more artwork. Kind of like an Arkanoid. I guess if you like Arkanoid, you're gonna love Blockbuster. Dun, 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 Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Heroes of the Lance. Always love this cover art. Always wish you can like fly like that dragon, but you know, I've never seen a game that actually took that inspiration and do it. Portal looks like a really creepy game. You know, we're gonna have to check this out. A computer novel, so maybe not. <laughs> got fucking time for that. Uh, <laughs> all right, what else we got? We got Hostage Rescue Mission Mindscape game. I love how it opens up like that. That's a cool box opening. There's some of the cover art. I mean, some of the back art. Pretty neat. Machong, I guess, Shanghai. Yeah, Machong. One of the early Machong games. How cool is that? The Lurking Horror, Infocom Amiga. I bet you that's a text based game. Flight Simulator Combat Pilot, pretty badass cover art. Back art looks good. I'm sure this is pretty cool on the Amiga, especially from when the time it came out. Must have been pretty awesome. Whoa, I got this too. OS2 for the IBM. We're gonna have to try that on some of my vintage IBMs. 
Wow, that's pretty cool to have. So I did get some IBM stuff. Neat. I always love IBM. The Hunt for the Red October. I have never seen artwork like this. I guess it's a different game than the one from EA. This is Datasoft. Not sure, but different art. Probably a different game. Enlightenment. This is a really cool looking box art. Really love this one. I'm not sure how the game is, but kind of looks like a gauntlet with uh, better graphics. So we might have to give this one a try. That looks pretty badass. Oh, the opening track to this. So cool. Really love it. I love it even on a Commodore 64. We got another one called Muscle Car for by Alkaloid. They make really good games. Leaderboard, me. Here's the original test drive. So that's pretty neat to have. And now we're gonna pull out the folders. What do we got in the folders? Well, we have, hold on, give me a second, everybody. All right, deluxe print fonts and make all kinds of stuff for arts and crafts really cool art one to one series firepower look at that tank coming at you pretty cool one on one whatever the seven cities of gold okay ea classic now this one's a classic by EA Sky Fox. I'm sure a lot of people played this game. This looks like that's gonna be fun. Oh. Now I played this on the Commodore 64. I'm pretty sure it's the same on the Amiga. So they didn't really take advantage of the Amiga's graphics and music deluxe video. I wonder if this is gonna work in conjunction with the um, Video toaster I got, or that's irrelevant. Arctic Fox, okay, that's a classic. Ferrari Formula One, that should be fun. And of course, Marble Madness, awesome. So that's the software pickup for this Amiga 1000 that I grabbed. I think it's quite the epic pickup. Uh, yeah, so I'll start shooting some stuff on the computer and, um, we'll go from there. All right. Well, I think I finally got something to work, but this is kind of a pain in the butt. Now they're asking me to go to U. Oh my God. What is this code wheel thing here? Um, all right. So U... 11, so I gotta go to 11, right here, okay. And then U, and U is, uh, where is it? There, so it's, uh, so it's this thingy. Then, um, that thingy. I oh, know the solid one that thingy and then um this thingy that kind of looks like a pokemon ball and then um looks like you go to okay Woo! all right we're gonna have a game or what yeah whoa if you guys recognize the code wheel you know what this game is uh-huh do we have volume how's this thing open i don't even know how to open this just pull this down. Oh, I don't want to break it. Uh, whatever. Let's see what happens. Remember the good old days of loading a disc? Listen to that. Look at that glare on the screen. Oh man, no audio. Do 
Do I have it plugged in correctly? Let's see. Maybe I'll get into the other one. Audio. Yeah, audio. So which one here? There, there we go. Yeah, baby, we got audio. Sorry for the glare. I'm trying to see how to get rid of it. This must have been amazing when it first came out. It's still amazing to me.